There are many types of onions to use as culinary accents. Added in small amounts they'll make a dish come alive with aromatic undertones. When used raw they add a punch to salads and salsas. But the real magic takes place when onions are cooked. A light sauté or slow roast mellows their pungent flavors and coaxes out their natural sweetness. Look on to find out the differences between 11 different onion varieties and their uses. Yellow onions are round, with a thin brownish papery skin, and most common type of onion in the United States and are easily the most versatile cooking onion. Popular varieties include yellow globe onions and slightly larger, slightly sweeter Spanish onions. The two are interchangeable in recipes. With a balanced flavor that's not too sweet and not too sharp, yellow onions work well in a variety of cuisines and dishes, including an Indian stir-fry, an Italian-style red sauce, and, yes, a Spanish paella. If a recipe simply calls for an onion, a yellow onion is the one to use. The bright reddish-purple skin makes this onion hard to miss. It's a favorite ingredient in salads. To many palates, red onions have the sharpest flavor in the family, so use uncooked red onions sparingly. Red onions are a popular choice for pickling, where the color diffuses throughout the onion slivers, turning them a radiant magenta. Pickled red onions are a wonderful condiment to keep on hand. To add a bright pop of color and vivid flavor to any number of dishes. This onion is named for the color of its thin skin and white flesh and has a taste that's more mild than red or yellow onions. Raw white onions are notable for their juicy crunch, which is why they are so often used as a finishing garnish in Latin and Central American dishes, especially Mexican food, where they add a pop of savory freshness to things like tacos and enchiladas. These onions are sweet because they have a low concentration of sulfur, allowing the sugar content to stand out. People who want to like onions but dislike the strong taste of some varieties will find sweet onions to be a good choice. Some people even consume them raw, biting into them like a ripe apple. Besides the onion varieties mentioned above, you may find Bermuda onions, Sweet Imperial, Texas Spring Sweet, and others. As for cooking applications, sweet onions are another great candidate for caramelizing and will do just as well in a stew or sauté as any of the onions above. But the thing that they truly do better than any other variety is transform into classic diner-style onion rings. They consist of long hollow round green leaves shooting up from a small bulb, which may be plump or narrow and white or purple, depending on the time of year and variety. This onion's flavorful, savory fresh bite makes it a popular ingredient in East Asian cooking, as exemplified in the classic Korean pancake pajian. Some recipes may specify using only the green section or the bulbous ends, but the scallion is edible in its entirety, right down to the root. Recipes usually require that scallions be chopped or sliced on the buyers, which just means at an angle, in two oblong ribbony slivers, Scallions are immature storage onions. Available primarily in their titular season, spring onions are harvested early to make growing room for their larger brethren. With its thin coppery brown skin, the shallot somewhat resembles a small red onion. Within that skin though is a bulbous cluster more akin to garlic in appearance. They have a sweet but mild flavor with a pungent, almost garlicky kick and a bite that is still sharp when uncooked. While the French incorporate the shallot into many dishes, it's also popular throughout Southeast Asian cuisine, as in Goreng Borang, an Indonesian recipe for fried shallots. These very small onions can be white, yellow, or red, are valued for their sweet, delicate flavor, and are usually served as an accompaniment. Pearl onions can be stewed, creamed, roasted, or glazed. Pickled pearl onions make a great garnish to the classic martini. Peeling even a small handful of such small onions can be a chore, but home cooks need not worry, frozen, pre-peeled pearl onions are widely available and work well in many recipes. 
Leeks look like scallions for giants, but the two aren't quite interchangeable. The upper dark green leaves of a leek are usually tough and often discarded, though they make a great addition to stock pot. Their pungent flavor is earthier than other onions and makes them a unique option. This North American native spring onion is edible in its entirety, from the tops of its lily of the valley like leaves and stems, all the way down to the bulb. Eaten raw, as in a pesto, a ramp tastes strong and more like garlic than scallion, but if cooked, its flavor turns mildly sweet. Ramps have a very short growing season. Use them in your cooking similarly to scallions, sautéing the slender purplish white ends and saving the green leaves for a garnish. They also make an exceptional fried snack. This Italian onion doesn't look like cousins thanks to its flat top and squat shape, but it does boast papery yellow skin reminiscent of many sweet onion varieties. And, in fact, its taste is less acrid than that of its relatives, making it ideal for a side dish of creamed or glazed onions. And because of the Cipolline onion's small size and shape, they are easy to cook and serve whole. Try them. Roasted or grilled on skewers. Garlic is also part of the onion family. A truly international vegetable, garlic is sold many ways, whole bulb, already peeled cloves, pre-sliced, and minced. Lighter bulbs indicate the cloves have dried out. An unpeeled garlic clove doesn't have a very strong scent, but once the clove's body has been damaged, by smashing, slicing, pressing, or cooking, a pungent odor is released. To get garlic that's sweet and fragrant, either sauté or roast it until golden. Or, submerge sliced garlic in cold oil and place over moderate heat. Stir frequently until crispy for delicious garlic chips that make an excellent garnish for soups, stews and porridges such as the Filipino dish arroz caldo. With any cooking method, watch closely, garlic can burn quickly and burnt garlic can impart an acrid smell and taste to your dish.